Welcome back adventurers to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In the last episode we met Tomira here and she gave us a lot of stuff but most importantly we leveled up by talking to her. So that was pretty cool. And uh, I think we can now... Yeah, here. Level 2. I think we can now put more... Oh, mutagens. Place mutagens in the appropriate slot to gain a bonus to your character statistics. And we do have some. Mutagens. Choose a mutagen, then place it in the indicated slot. Select slot. Okay, cool. Um, that one? In here? Vitality plus 50. That is amazing. Once activated, mutagens grant bonuses to your character statistics. Both mutagens and abilities are marked with a color. Put a mutagen in a field with at least one ability of the same color to increase its bonuses. If an ability does not match the color of the mutagen in its field, it does not increase the mutagen's bonus. The increase gained from any other abilities in the same field which do match the mutagen remains. The more abilities in a field that match the color of the field's mutagen, the greater the mutagen's bonus. Each matching ability increases the bonus by 100%. Mutagens can also be used to brew powerful potions called mutagen decoctions. Nice! So which one is better? This one is the Wraith mutagen plus 50 vitality and this one is the same, Noonrace mutagen. Okay, pretty pretty cool. We don't have a blue one yet, but uh, well, I take the plus 50 vitality. Now let's see. I mean, we could put in something from here, but do we need something from here? Heightened tolerance increases potion overdose threshold from 75% to 80. Potion duration plus 5%. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, poison plates. Steady aim. Uh, every known level 1 alchemy formula increases maximum toxicity by 1. If toxicity is above 0, time automatically slows when an enemy is about to perform a counterattack. These are all not bad, but I would also like to level up my combat abilities. Muscle memory, strong attack, deflect arrow, time slowed, and adrenaline point loss upon taking damage is lowered. I think we would start here. We have two points available. I mean, in the end, we can make, like, each a color. Like, blue, red, what do we have? Brown and uh, green. So, yeah. I mean, that's good too. During the day, vitality regions. Huh. Can I upgrade these already? I wonder. Or do they unlock if I upgrade that? I don't remember how that works. If available, adrenaline points will be consumed to reduce the toxicity cost, offering you potions. You can shoot one additional bolt. Nice. This is all pretty good. If your current stamina level is too low, signs can be cast using adrenaline. Yeah, how can I upgrade my stamina though? That's, in, that's indeed an issue. Increases adrenaline generation? I need stamina. No bomb, bombs. Where's stamina? Toxicity. Huh. Where would that be? Would that be here? Ah, here I need to unlock. Okay, cool. Not cool, but now I know. Yeah. Huh. Damage dealt by Igni also permanently weakens enemy armor. Hmm. This is upgraded to the max. 
Increases arts range. Target does not move towards Geralt while he's casting Axie. Also increased effectiveness of Axie. That's pretty good too. Quenching pushes, but yeah, that's that's amazing too. Should we level first aggressive or passive? Would stamina be here? Refreshment doesn't seem so, right? Protection against signs, blade oils. When adrenaline points are at their maximum, critical hit damage. Ooh, that's also good. This is all about bombs, bombs, bombs. Is there no stamina upgrade? Huh. Weird. I mean, that's really good. So I'm tempted to upgrade that also because we have a green mutagen at the moment. And in that tree, I think this is the most important. So yeah, let's let's do it. And I think I put both in there. Increases the potion overdose threshold from uh, 75 to 85. Nice. Vitality of plus 100. Okay, cool. It lasted a bit, but uh, yeah. I think we have to level carefully in Death March because it seems that we are gaining less XP in that difficulty than in the others. So we are leveling slower, so we have to put our points only into what we really need. I think. I'm not so sure though. Okay, now what can we do? What can we do? We do have um, the Griffin contract, but that's the main quest. I would love to do this first. Missing in action. Find Dune Wildenvert. And uh, this we can't do. I mean, collect them all. <laughs> Uh, I think this is a quest that will stay there until the end of the game. And then we do that one. And then we can move on with the main quest. So. What are with these wars? Oh! Oh! Oh, dang! <laughs> they sting! Okay, let's go. I'm stuck on a rock. Let's see, can we see where that is? Oh, it's all the way back. There. If that is the case, I'm going to talk to the hunter first. I think, because he's here. I mean, hey that's there. part of the main quest, but I don't think it triggers anything immediately. That hot, isn't it? Take it easy. Yeah, it must be. Let's see if he's home. Oh, he's back there. Can I not get in there? Knock. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Huh. He required. Okay. Uh, can we see where he went? Yeah. Trails fresh. His love just left home. Cool. Where'd he go? Hmm. There. I see him already. Uh, 
He doesn't see me though. What's he doing? You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? Hmm. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Yeah, let's help them. Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. And a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in skate. Too late. Attacked another one. Ah, there. All oh, right, they killed somebody. Oh, dang. Ooh. others they went away oh some more meat Come let's on. eat it ah there okay two down um did we kill him oh poor guy whoa who is that Dieter you know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm a freak too. Oh yeah, here. I'm a freak too. Why? But of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. How does that Detail make you a freak? walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. That's so sad. I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin, oh, man. know anything about it? Not much. So many Not my kind of tragic game. stories in this village. Though. It's crazy. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me.
was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. Hmm. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. To you too, to you too. Oh man. Greetings. Hmm. Hope he'll find some joy. Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. All right, there's a fireplace. A camp. So much blood. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Ooh, there are footsteps. And I hear wolves back there. Speaking of, let's eat some raw meat. I think it's the footsteps we are searching for. But they lead to the camp, not away from the camp. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Huh. Yeah. They, they walk in that direction. There are more and more. There's a fast travel point. Oh, oh, I saw something. Huh, nice. That's a good find. Okay, in the woods. I don't think the wolves can see me. What was that? Grabbing ledges. When jumping over large gaps, hold space during your leap to grab onto any outcrop on the other side. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Oh, dang. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Uh-oh. Bones, horse, dog, human, a few months worth. And there's a dead griffin. Female, larvae and her wounds have already hatched, been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. over the whole body not a drop of blood on the beak or claws didn't defend herself crept up on her while she slept beak tips worn gray hairs in the coat 10 12 years old griffins pair off for life when young male must be about the same age thick shaft dense barbs a royal griffin Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Oh no! Because they killed its mate. Preparing for combat. Never underestimate your opponent. This rule is at the core of the Witcher's Code, and for good reason. Proper preparation has saved many Witcher's life. It is likewise worth your while to brew potions, concoct oils, or visit craftsmen before engaging in combat. Blacksmiths forge weapons, while armorers craft armor. If you expect to battle a strong opponent, you might want to complete some side quests before attacking. This will allow you to gain experience and develop your character, giving you a better chance of winning the fight. Yeah, 
I knew that. <laughs> but it's a good advice. Did they have little griffins? I can loot it. But there are no eggs or something. Are there? I don't think so. His Imperial Majesty, Emir van Imreis. Emir van Imreis ruled to expand. He has trained his strategic brilliance on a singular vision to conquer the world, though he rightly calls this not conquest, but salvation. Yes, the Emperor of Nilfgaard sets the world alight with the torch of civilization. Trampling the still warm corpses of his father's usurpers, the Emperor seized the throne and, he bega and began to assimilate the northern realms, one after the other. Terror engulfed the north. Only the Battle of Brenna slowed the Imperial Army's march toward, toward victory. A temporary peace then took hold. Though none believed this mirage would last, Emir's aim to make the entire north a vessel of Nilfgaard remained unchanged. Emir used peace as a cover to intensify his political efforts. Now all can see the results. Chaos and disorder devour the Nordling states. Ridden with internal bickering and backstabbing, they near collapse. Only a strong ruler can grapple this dysfunction into function. Only a wise ruler can give vis vision to their blindness. Only Emir van Embrace can save the North. So our armies have again crossed the Yeruga for the third and final time. Well, let's see how that ends. The war is not over yet. Although I think he already conquered most of the north, didn't he? I can examine more? Or is that the same? Burned. Only a human could do this. They burned the nest down. Oh man. Well, now we know at least why the male is so aggressive. Aggressive. Aggressive, sorry. <laughs> they slaughtered its mate. It's like the story with the troll, right? I mean, he drank and the griffin kills. There's something down there? I don't think so. So, what are we going to do now there? I don't think we want to fight the griffin immediately. We should do all the side quests first. Because also the game hinted us to not run into battle unprepared. So, ah, yeah, right. We have to find the Buckthorn first anyway. But uh, what I'm going to do, I think, as we are here now, is really going into that territory and check out the question marks and uh, do also... Oh, look, we are nearly level three. That is amazing. You can also look at that one quest here, missing in action. Fine tune Wildenwurt, who should be there, right? Yeah, that was the quest. Okay, so we do that. We ride down there, and if we finally have to fight the Griffin, we can also grab again those power ups, I think. So that's a plan. Roach. Come on. Oh, stuck on a tree. The weather could be better. Oh, 
what is that? Oh, that's our abandoned village. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's ride through it. I think here's the street. With a path. It's not really a street, is it? And there's a fisher hut. that noise I think we're okay oh and we should meditate that's a liberated shrine yeah let's meditate a bit here so that we can refill our potions Although, I'm not so sure if we can. And maybe we should even make more or everything that we can. Yeah, I don't think we have alcohol. We have empty bottles. Oh, maybe that one. Cherry cordial. Huh. Let's make some salmon. Then hybrid oil. Still don't know what that's for. White honey clears toxicity, why not? And that is all we can make. And, uh, oh, I think. Where's the meditation? Here. Let's meditate. What time is it? It's. Ah, current time. 4 9. So, five or six. Huh. I have alcohol. Cool. Now we should be filled up. Yeah, we have three spellos again. Nice. I like that. That's it, Roach. Okay, new territory. We can go either down there or directly to our quest marker, which is here. So yeah, let's go around here. Then we can investigate that question mark, then that question mark, and that question mark. Oh, and that, and that, and that. Oh, dang. So many things. What level is the main quest, though? Um, that's the buckthorn. It doesn't have a level. Okay, cool. Why does plucking weeds have a level? Huh. I don't like that. <coughs> is there something underneath the bridge? There is something. Oh, drowners. Or not? Yes. Okay, cool. I could use some brains. Oh, ah. dang. Ooh. Leather straps. Nice. Please. Oh, there are a ton back there. Come on. Cool. White bear hide. Oh, the drowner didn't drop anything. I looted a sack. Lots of water here. Monster saliva. Cool. And a dead guy. 
I wasn't that lucky. Anything else? Nope. I think we're good. Oof. Should we kill the other ones? There are dead drowners though. A guarded treasure. Ooh, that's the question mark we saw. I like that idea. I hear people talking. Hey there. Let's fire them up a bit, shall we? Oh, they're not that impressed by fire. Come on, kill that guy. Whoa, oh, no, 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 not me. I'm not that guy. Let's whoa, fire up that. Oh, that was of no use. Okay. Went up and eat something. How about that? Come on. Now. Ugly bastard. Uh huh. Will it explode? No. I thought I could explode that that barrel. I mean, it's in the water, so it makes sense that I can't. Right. Oh dang, I wanted to evade. That does nothing. <laughs> Ooh, wow. You are dead. Treasure. Whoa! What is that? Diagram Disclair. Nice! I love it. Treasures are the best. Is there more though? Ah, uh, there are the explosives that didn't explode. I think I have to be really close to explode these. the range of my Igni is not that far yet. <laughs> the flies. Oh gosh. They've been dead for a while already. Okay. Now that question mark is clear, right? Yeah. And we can go to that quest here. We are nearing level 3. That's exciting. where we rode in with Vesemir. Directive number A-289. Burying the bodies of hanged deserters and rebels is hereby strictly forbidden. Anyone caught trying to cut down hanging corpses will be summarily executed. General Merwin Rossin, Viceroy of the province of Temeria. But why? Oh gosh, that's not good. Then necrophages will crawl up on them, right? Oh, and the smell. Terrible. Oh, and that's the burnt down village we rode through. There are even more. But, I mean, back there were Nilfgaardians, but those are no Nilfgaardians. I think they are Temerian soldiers? I'm not so sure though. Well, um... Yeah, it's the same. Oof. Oh, 
they lost their loved ones. You cannot even talk to them. They can't loot their houses. Most probably they don't have anything anyway. Yeah, that one burnt down. Ooh, nice! I don't remember how the upgrading works with the swords and the cliffs. I have to find out that. Hey, can I talk to you? Go! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, dang. Well, um... Now, where's that one guy that is searching... or who is searching for his brother? Back here, I think? Yeah, there. Oh, him! Hussar! Huh! <laughs> Can I talk to anybody else? I don't think so. Ooh! There's Beatness in the bushes. Hey there! Oh no, everybody is crying! That is so terrible! And I'm taking their stuff. I don't know what's worse. Ah, the badness is back there. So they're not threatened. Let's talk to that guy then. And put away the sword. Oh, that too. There you go. Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But I guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. Haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses. Feeding. Someone told me they're afeard of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Poor shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. I think I can do that. Fine, I'll help you. Just been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. Who would have thought? But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Okay. And the dog's with us. That's cool. Let's check on that quest now that we have it. It still doesn't have a level. That's crazy. Okay. Does that mean we can do it? <laughs> Where's that hill? Is it far away? Oh yeah, so we check out that first. Oh, it's in that ruin up there. Oh. That is one huge ruin. What's that? Can we read that? Yeah. Oh, get there. Bandits calling themselves Temeria's soldiers are hiding in the nearby woods. They have been declared outlaws and a threat to the Emperor's subjects. Assisting or sheltering them in any way will be summarily punished to the fullest extent permitted by Imperial law. On behalf of the Emperor of Nilfgaard, Captain Peter Sar Gwynlief. Okay, so bandits. Oh. Yes. 
an empty bottle. And Fistek! Hey! Fistek is back! Oh. I can see a lot of red dots. So. What can we do about that? We have bombs. Let's put one in there, why not? If we have it. We don't need that. Necrophage oil, spectre oil and that hybrid oil. Do we know what hybrids are? I don't think so. So let's check out what's up there and then we can apply some. <laughs> yeah, now we got fist tick. <laughs> what's with these? Why don't they count to my currency up there? Huh. Maybe it's the wrong currency. Florence and Orange. I thought those were Orange too, but most probably not. Right, we have now Nilfgaardian currency. What might that be called? Huh. Oh, wolves. Okay. Okay. Oh, dang it. Man! <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay. One's down. Uh huh. Whew. Okay, we are hurt from two wolves. Damn. I think I drink a spell out. Is there anything else? Now I'm a bit worried. There were really a lot of foes up there. So let's check out what kind. Can we sneak up there somehow? Oh, don't fall! Oh no! Ooh. We survived. <laughs> oh, funny. I bet my first death is a fall death. Or something really, really stupid. Or I died just now. Whatever is up there. Or from whatever is up there. Ah, oh, we can sneak up here. Let's heal up. Uh, we have Quen. Ah, okay, the deserters. Well, oh. oh, 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 they are many. They are many. He's kind of stuck back there. Oh, they're shooting. And we don't have that deflect. Oh, careful. Oh. <gasps> Giving me no choice. Dang. <laughs> How can I get back up? Only back there, right? Okay. Oh no, not here. Um, that's not so easy. No, I cannot climb that. Do I have to get back to the bridge? Or run the other way? Up here. There's a hut. We have to check out that too. I have to get round, right? Man. Let's quen up in case they shoot at me. They're yeah, very well fortified up there. Have to give them that. Let's try that again. Wah! <laughs> uh, 
and up we go. Oh! There's one. Don't let him touch his breath. Oh. oh, he's shooting. Okay. Not good. I, I, I did. Wait. I blocked. I tried to. Let's get back here so that the other guy can't shoot me. Get Quinn going. Okay. Let's try that again. Weird. I'm I'm not blocking. Do I block? Yeah. Ugh. I'm dying. I'm I'm going to die. Hmm. Sweller. Oh no, now I'm stuck. <gasps> no! Oh, Where's that thing where I can get up there? Um. <laughs> All right, that's the wrong. <laughs> oh, let's. Yeah, let's try that again. <laughs> Must be a better way. Right? I mean, who careful? Yeah, from from that road. Up you go. And yeah, let's eat the dried fish and quen up. That was easy. Now there's only the guy with the axe. The long axe even. Let's try that again. Why can Let's I not do the block thing? Yeah. yeah huh. Damn it. Dang. Huh. That's weird. Ooh, dang. Whoa. So yeah, I really have to practice that more and better. Maybe it's not that effective against the blonde weapons. So I would need to use rather the strong attack and not block. I have to find out. But we did it. I mean, by falling down that hill three times. I looted you already. Now what can I find here? Was it worth it? Nearly dying. Can pick flowers. That's always worth it. Can I get up there somehow? That would be cool. Huh. Ah. There is their camp. What was that? Angrily scrawled notes. What am I supposed to fucking die for? Demeria? They died for that. Dad died for that. So did my three brothers. And what that get them? Fuck all, that's what. Not even a decent burial. They always said, a wise man learns from others' mistakes. So here I am, learning from his. And instead of dying for Demeria, I'm going to rob those who killed Demeria's sons. We've pitched a camp, got us a great spot, middle of the woods, near that old mill. Now we are all set to go out on our first raid. Ah, okay. 
That was an old mill? Whoa! What a crazy mill! Do that. A cliff, nice. And what's in there? An empty bottle. I cannot take the food. That's a pity. Ooh. Serpentine steel sword. Interrogation report. Location. Amavet Fortress. Person taking part. Sir Ignatius Varriers. Bard. The bailiff Andreas Bloom. Sir Ignatius's underlings. Carmi, Gardi and Belsey. Suspect. Colcrim, Witcher of the Viper School. The Witcher Colcrim stands accused of kidnapping Witzi, son of Paul, a beekeeper residing in White Orchard. Suspect was detained pending trial. Upon detention, he was searched, and a diagram for the for forging of a steel sword was found on his person. It is suspected this sword was used to intimidate or possibly kill the kidnapped child. It is likewise suspected that the accused possesses other, other such diagrams for the forging of death-dealing implements, though none have been found to date. Sir Ignatius has requested the Witcher undergo preliminary interrogation with the application of torture. This will take place once a torturer with, a, with the proper qualifications has been found. Addendum it was later discovered drowners were responsible for the boy's disappearance. Unfortunately, Colcrim died before this information reached the investigators, for rather than face the baronet's judgment, he chose trial by ordeal. So Ignatius agreed and ordered he cleanse the various family crypt of spectres. Colcrim never emerged from said crypt. It is high likely the mo motley wraiths, spectres and evil powers residing herein Proof too much for him. Ooh. Does that mean we know now where we can find um, that steel sword from the Viper School mm. and another location, which is the family crypt of the Varriers? Oh, yeah. Nice. I, I got the diagram already. Okay. We don't know the location, but we get it. That's even better. And we can now hunt down the gear of the Viper School. Pretty cool. Okay, it was worth nearly dying for, for that one. So let's see. Yeah, these are the reports. Uh, we cannot see the diagram here, right? We need... Uh, the books we know that already we have new books here yeah we have read that we read that and we read that now these are components silver sword oh wow that's a level 12 that we found there nice but here dorian sword and viper steel sword we could already make it and it's better than what we have. Huh. And we have everything for it too. Well, that's worth a shot. Okay, we are on Quilt Cork. And then on water. So we are running low on food. <gasps> we have only alcohol left. Oh dang, we need to loot food. So, let's see, we can either now go to the battlefield, ah, it's level 6, find Colcrim's remains, ah, and that's in the crypt, nice, get one of two, that's pretty cool. Now there's that question mark though, and that. So I think, yeah, we grab that, then that, then that on the way, then we go to the battlefield, and then we grab those. 
And when we come back to the village, we should be prepared. Ooh, there are more. <laughs> oh, whoa. And we should be prepared to fight the griffin. But we do all of these in the next episodes. Thank you so, so much for watching this one. Have a wonderful and adventurous day. And goodbye.